y 1 y 2 with horizontal partition will be equal to a 1 1 a 1 2 which are all sub matrices a 2 1 and a 2 2 which are all partition which can be now multiplied with the vector x 1 and x 2 which are also partitioned horizontally. So, it means that the matrix A which has both horizontal and vertical partitioning is called cross partitioned matrix. This will be very helpful in structural analysis in future problems. Let us see the advantage of this. Let us demonstrate the advantage of this. So, once we partition then from this expression y 1 is also equal to a 1 1 x 1 plus a 1 2 x 2. Similarly, y 2 will be equal to a 2 1 x 1 plus a 2 2 x 2. So, these are all now valid. Okay. Now, let us take how this partitioning can be helpful in estimating inverse. So, now inverse is also valid for a partition matrix which is very advantageous. Let us say for example, A matrix is 1, 4, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3 minus 1 minus 5, 2. Let us say I have a matrix like this. Let us have a partition horizontal and vertical both. Okay. Now, I can write A as A 1 1, A 1 2, A 2 1, A 2 2 which are all sub matrices of A. You can also further write this as A 1 1, 0, 0 and A 2 2. Now, if you want to find A inverse which can also be said as B 1 1, B 1 2, B 2 1, B 2 2 which are again sub matrices because the algorithm is also valid for this. We also know that B 1 2 which is actually inverse of A 1 2 will be 0. Similarly, B 2 1 is actually inverse of A 2 1 will also be 0 which is going to be a null matrix. So, I want to find A 1 1 inverse. I can easily say that as 1 by minus 6 of 2 minus 4 minus 2 1. Please verify this. yourself. Okay, this is a small exercise given to you, please verify. Similarly, I can find A 2 2 inverse as 2 1 5 3. Now, the advantage is I can find A inverse simply as 1 over 3, 2 over 3, 2 over 3 minus 1 over 6. 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 2 1 5 3 which is now partitioned like this. 
Now, interestingly, finding inverse of finding inverse of 4 by 4 would have been difficult, but finding inverse of 2 by 2 was relatively simple. So, this exercise show that inverse of a matrix can be easily evaluated if partitioned ok. So, partitioning benefits inverting only a 2 by 2 matrix instead of 4 by 4. So, this can have or this can lead to substantial saving in time and computational effort. So, therefore, we can say partitioning helps reduce computational effort. Having said this, let us talk about some advantage of banded matrix. Sometimes in structural analysis, banded matrix can also be of a great help. Now, matrices in structural analysis show certain special properties they can be utilized for solving large system of equations. What are those special properties? Real, symmetric, positive definite and most importantly banded matter. Let us quickly see what is a banded matrix. Given matrix A, set to be positive definite, only if the following condition. is satisfied x transpose a x should be greater than 0 for all non zero column matrix of x. Let us elaborate this slightly with an example. Let A matrix be represented as A 1 1, A 1 2, 0 0 0 0. Similarly, A 2 1, A 2 2, A 2 3, then remaining elements are 0, A 3 2, A 3 3, A 3 4, 0 0, A 4 3, A 4 4, a 4 5 0, A 5 4, A 5 5, A 5 6, A 6 5, A 6 6. So, the non zero elements are indicated as A suffix i j, whereas zero elements are indicated as 0 in a given A matrix. Now, let us call C equation number 7. 
A is said to be a Banton matrix. with width equals 2 m plus 1 if all elements of A i j for which i minus j is greater than m or 0. for m equals 1 band of this matrix it is a band width of this matrix A is 2 m plus 1 which is 2 into 1 plus 1 which is 3. So, the band width of this matrix is actually 3 ok starts from here. So, one can check that this condition is true for the bandwidth of this matrix to be 3 where m seems to be 1 in this example. So, friends in this lecture we discussed about the limitations and choice of a method whether it is flexibility method or stiffness method. We understood that the unknowns become variable in the set of equations formulated either by flexibility approach. or stiffness approach we have understood how partitioning of a matrix is helpful we have seen horizontal partitioning vertical partitioning cross partitioning We have also enjoyed the convenience of understanding A inverse from adjoint of A by determinant of A and A inverse can be obtained easily and conveniently by partitioning. We have also seen how the bandwidth of a matrix can be determined which can be a useful handy solution for problems in structural analysis. Thank you.